Hey everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing this really cool, the new MJX Bug 6. Now the Bug Series MJ, J, MJX is very popular. The Bug 3, extremely popular. They got the Bugs 8 out now. This is a Bug 6, the entry level uh, RTF racing drone. And of course I got the Bugs 2 GPS drone, which I'm hoping to get very, very soon. Um, this is just a really cool one. It's a, it's a lot like the Bugs 3 um, in a way it flies. But it's really quick and agile, just a superb uh, drone, and it's like 70 bucks or something. It's really cheap for what it does. It's just, I really like this a lot. Um, it comes with um, 1800 uh, KV motors. It shows you in the box. It's uh, 1806 by 1800 KV motors, a 401 ESC, and it's got a form of telemetry, just like the Bugs 3 also has. Um, you know, it's it calls it two way communication, and what it does is the controller will begin to beep and the light will flash here if you get a weak signal like you're going out of range or whenever you get to your low battery or lvc so it's nice that they have that on these that's a big big bonus in my opinion on something at this price range that have that sort of telemetry on it but it's a really nice uh, flyer like i said very quick and agile it doesn't have an incredible throttle punch or anything but it flies nice it is self-leveling. There is no acro mode, which some people might find as a downer. But being this entry level, it doesn't bother me because someone who's learning how to fly a racer, such as myself, is not going to uh, want acro mode right off the bat anyway. You can see here in the nose where you can add the FPV camera that they have on um, some of these versions. You could put the antenna over here for the FPV on it. Um, so that's what that's for. It's got these really bright white LEDs in the front. Similar to the bug, except for it's got two where the bugs three, I'm sorry, the bug three has one and this bug six has two. And it's got two red LEDs in the back. So it really helps with orientation. You can zip this out of ways. They're so bright you can easily see them to turn it around and bring it back to you. Uh, the battery slides in here into the bay. You know, and it just until it hits the rear here. And uh, it is a 13, let's see, I'm gonna verify it is a uh, 1300 milliamp 25C uh, 2S LiPo. It comes with this uh, USB charger and it had, this actually has a 2 and a 3S uh, plugs on it. The green light will flash and then it will go, um, I think it goes solid when it's done. I charged it overnight again last night using this. This works well. This is a much better charger than the uh, Bugs 3 came with. The Bugs 3 charger was really bad. That was the biggest problem with it. It did not balance the cells and you get a low voltage alarm after three or four minutes because it was all out of whack. Uh, but this charger here works really well. But it takes like four hours to charge, so it's very slow to charge the battery. But if you don't mind that, you know, it works just fine. But it has an XT30 connector, so you can easily buy one of these for a hobby grade charger, connect it up, and charge this thing in well under an hour. You know, probably uh, 40, 45 minutes, depending on what rate you charge it at. It comes with a whole lot of accessories. It comes with a full set of props. It comes with some really cool bug stickers. I stuck one um, on the controller here, just because I think they look really cool. It comes with screwdrivers, spare parts, some prop removal tools and stuff like that for the propellers. It does come with a, uh, a quick guide, which is really cool. You know, some people don't want to mess with reading through a big instruction manual, and this is a good instruction manual. But you just uh, flip through this, and this will get you through the basics of everything to get you up in the air if you don't want to take the time at the moment to go through the uh, the controller, uh, the instructions. The flight time on this, I get about 10 minutes on this. That's pretty aggressive flying. So that's not bad for aggressive flying on a 2S LiPo. Um, let's see here. It's got two rates and the yaw does increase with the rates and it does 360 flips very, very well. Let's go ahead and we'll go over the controller. To calibrate the gyros in the control, I'll go to that first because I always tend to miss that. It's down and to the right and the lights will flash briefly and that calibrates the level. You can calibrate the controller and the instruction tells you how. I don't, I'm not going to go over that. Something with moving your, turning on and doing something with the sticks. But it's calibrated fine out of the factory. They say it's self-calibrated. But for some reason, your controller would seem like it lost calibration. You can um, calibrate the controller, which is another more of a hobby grade feature, something you don't expect on something in this price range. You've got a low and high rate here, you get your rates button. This is the unlock and to lock the motors. 
Here's your 360 flips button in the direction you want to go. And this would be for the camera video if you had the FPV camera here in the front. Um, they may sell just a camera module too, I'm not sure. And that would be to, to do a, a video and photo on that. So like I said, really a nice controller. I just like the Bugs 3, but really comfortable and uh, well made. And the telemetry with the light with a low signal and low voltage really works well and is a nice, really nice added feature for something at this price range. So I think that covers everything. So we'll, well, we'll go ahead and move along to the flight review. Okay, let's go ahead and take the MJX uh, Bug 6 up for a test flight. Got it here on the ground, it's all bound up and ready to go. I got a solid green light here. This is of course the telemetry light. So we'll go ahead and uh, I got it in the lowest rate, one beep. So we'll take it up in the low rate, show you the rate and the yaw and everything. So to unlock the props, you just go ahead and press the red button and I'll go ahead and take it up. There's a bit of a breeze from right to left here. It's blowing a little bit, but not a lot of breeze today. There's the yaw. See a decent amount of pitch. This, this is the low rate. Here's high rate now. There's a yaw on high rate. Much faster yaw on, and much, it has a ton of pitch. You can tend to sort of nosedive on this guy. Just see, there's. Look at it go. So as you, uh, if you give this thing too much pitch in forward throttle, it will kind of dive bomb on you a little bit and lose altitude. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't have altitude hold on it. So it's fully manual with just stabilization. See that's, and let's go down to the lowest rate and you see the yaw, take it back out. The yaw slowed down, now it's sped up, see? I like to fly in the highest rate, it's really sporty. It's a really nice uh, flight time of around 10 minutes on this thing. I did not get an LVC time on this because anything like this brush, I don't want to fly this down until the battery, until the battery is completely dead because I don't know if it's going to cut the props and fall or is it going to slowly lose power to the ground. I don't want to test that with a brushless and damage it or fall and hurt somebody or something. So I can't tell you how long you can go. You should always land something like this as soon as you start getting the low voltage. It's the beeping on your controller. I said it'll also let you know if you're uh, getting to the edge of its range, which, you know, at these bright lights, you can see it for quite a ways away. I can see the front there, the white, as I'm bringing it back to me. So it lets you know, but uh, you're not too likely with this particular version to fly it to the edge of its range and be able to see where it is, I don't think. If you have the FPV version and you have good antennas on it and stuff, you might be able to uh, fly it out to the edge of its range. But just basic version without a camera, no. Let's do a few flips now. So the flips are really nice and tight. Uh, so you have to, on this one you have to uh, hold down the button as you're doing it. You don't press it and then the way you want to go. See, really nice and tight, which with brushless motors, at 1800 kV, you expect the uh, flips to be nice and tight. They're not going to be sloppy. It has a ton of power. I'm going to do one back. Very nice. I've had zero issues with this quadcopter. It is a very good entry level it is just plastic, it's not carbon fiber or anything, but I think for someone wanting to get into something a little quicker, at around $70, you can't go wrong. Let's do a throttle punch on it. It's not super, but it's okay. As you can see, it's okay. When you're used to something like my Futon 200, it seems kind of slow, <laughs> but uh, it's not too bad. But at, moving forward though, it's pretty quick as you can see, look at that, it's, it more than makes up for it with its speed flying forward. So it flips really well, it's, it's very stable, it's acrobatic in terms of slipping. Now, so there's no acro, so you're fully stabilized, but with an altitude hold, which you would not want in any kind of a racer. You at least start to learn some of the basic skills 
of flying a racer with stabilization, of course. Anybody flying a racer, a true racer, is going to, uh, once they get good at it, which I'm not, is going to fly in full acro mode. When I review my Futon 200, I will not be flying at acro. I'm just not good enough yet. It just, it's just really nice to turn it around. It doesn't do anything goofy. It doesn't act up on me. I've just had, like I said, zero issues. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it down here. I think we've got enough of a test flight to let you see what this guy can do. Really nice drone, really inexpensive. Another win, another uh, another big hit, I think, by uh, MJX. It's just been cranking out one after another with these bug series. They have really stepped up their game. I think all the bugs are good so far. Really cool looking. Like I said, this is definitely comparable to the Bugs 3, but a little sportier, a little faster motors, I believe. This is very similar to the Bugs 8. But I believe the Bugs 8 doesn't have quite as fast. It's a little bit faster motors on the Bugs 6. So, all in all, really neat. So, please be sure to subscribe. And like I said, there's a purchase link in the description for this. And uh, stay tuned for more videos and have a good day. The power of the dark side, side, side.